Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 Beta 4 and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start with the build number. It's AP31.240617.009 and now let's take a look at the new features. Let me tell you that this is a minor update with a couple of new features and some minor UI changes and the most important one is called device diagnostics that you can reach under settings and then system and then scroll down and you will see device diagnostics. When you go inside you will see two more items. The first one is called component health which will allow you to run manual tests and view battery and storage health. The second one is called evaluation mode, which will allow you to diagnose this device from a different device. So let's start with component health. The first test we have is called display test, which will do a quick RGB test for your display to make sure that the colors are good. When you tap on continue, it will show you the red, green and blue. Then you're gonna choose that test result, either it's good or bad based on what you've seen and that's pretty much it the second one is called touch test which will make sure that your display digitizer is working absolutely fine at all areas and you can achieve this by uh, touching all the areas of your display like this and once it turns into white that means that the touch is working in this very specific area and you need to finish all the boxes and once done it will tell you that the touch sensor test passed so that's it when it comes to the manual tests. Now let's talk about the component status. The first option we have is the battery status where you can check your battery health information starting with the manufacturing date, the first usage date, the cycle count, and the percentage remaining of your original battery capacity. In my case, I still have 100% of the original capacity. The first usage date is the 21st of September 2023 with 267 cycle count. I think the number is impressive. I've been using the phone for almost 10 months as my daily driver and I'm still at 100%. So I'm not sure if the numbers are inaccurate or the battery health of the Pixel 8 Pro is that impressive. And the last thing we have under component health is the storage status. And here it will show you the remaining lifetime. In my case, it's 97% with the total capacity 128 GB. So that's everything under the component health menu. Now let's talk about the evaluation mode. Once you go inside, you will see trusted device and evaluated device. So for example, if I want to diagnose the device I have in my hand, that means I'm going to choose evaluated device. It will immediately start the camera to scan a QR code on the trusted device. I'm going to choose trusted device. It will show me the QR code. Once I start the scanning process, it will connect to the other device using an internet connection. So to be able to use this feature, you need to have an internet connection active on both devices. Once the connection finishes, it will start the same two tests I showed you earlier under the component health menu. So let me run through them really quick after the connection. Once the two tests are done and then you tap on continue, it will show you the evaluation report which you can send to the other device by tapping on this button. And here's what happens when you do this. It will immediately show you the evaluation results on the other phone. Now let's talk about the other changes and all of them are under settings. The first one is the display menu is now called display and touch. And when you go inside and tap on the brightness level, you will see a narrower brightness slider and for reference, here is how it looks in the previous versions. Under sound and vibration and then vibration and haptics, the updated adaptive vibration feature is back again with beta 4, which was missing from beta 3. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let's talk about the bug fixes and we have a long list of items, starting with the developer reported issues, fixed an issue with contrast that made some elements in quick setting styles hard to read, fixed an issue that in some rare cases caused some Pixel devices to get stuck in an unbootable state if the device was factory reset shortly after an OTA system update was installed, other resolved issues fixed an issue where sometimes an Android virtual device using an Android 15 system image failed to launch if the AVD was launched in embedded mode, Fixed an issue that sometimes caused app notification settings to fail to be restored when restoring a device from a backup. 
fixed an issue for Pixel Fold devices that prevented a user from continuing face unlock enrollment if the device was folded or unfolded during the process, fixed various other issues that were impacting system stability, connectivity, performance, usability, and camera. Then we have some fixes related to the Bluetooth that you can see now on the screen. Moving to the performance and battery, I didn't notice anything different when compared to Beta 3. It works exactly the same in both areas. I only did a quick Geekbench score to see the numbers and you'll see here it's slightly worse than Beta 3 in the multi-core score, but slightly better in the single core. So there is nothing major when it comes to the performance and battery, but I will keep you updated in my future follow-up videos in case I found anything dramatically different. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 15 Beta 4. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.